Comics here today, and I'm here to talk to you about another full run Friday. This time from 2016, and Mark Wade and Humberto Ramos. It's the champions. So let's back up a second. Full run Friday is a show I put out every Friday. If you're not familiar, um, it's about collecting a full run of comics the way that I used to when I was a kid, or at least I would collect runs by going to the <laughs> newspaper stand every uh week not necessarily wednesdays i don't think that was established yet but just you know once a week after school looking for new comics and when a new one came out i bought it and i like to collect runs i'm a run collector even at the expense sometimes of value uh there's not necessarily value in getting issue 38 of a 76 issue run of a comic that you can get digitally or get an omnibus or hardcover that nobody cares about anymore but i have that nagging need to get that one comic and to fill the run. So that's why we have Full Run Fridays. You might not be a Full Run f person. You might be a Full Run person. Either way, I think you'll get some uh, interest out of this series and like what I have to show you. So like I said, today we are doing The Champions from 2016. Um, Mark Wade, Umberto Ramos. Doesn't look like yeah, Ramos, Olazaba, and Delgado were inker and letterer. This one is signed by... Is this one signed by Ramos or Mark Wade? I think this one's signed by Mark Wade. I got Roberto Ramos to sign one somewhere up there over my head. It's the partially black and white version of this, and I can't see where it is. I think it's right there. But anyway, um, you know, there is a store variant um, of this. So the Champions team, and I'm going to go through a bunch of number ones. This is David Mack signed. Uh, this was a present that I won from... Um, Oh my gosh, I've forgotten your name. She just came back. Flicks and Picks. Um, she used to have a different name. She just came back. Jojo. Thank you so much, Jojo. Um, I couldn't think of her YouTube name, but I won this from her. One of my favorites. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, featuring my favorite character, Miss Marvel. This is the JTC variant. So at the end of um, Civil War, some members of the all new, all different Avengers became upset with the direction that the all new, all different Avengers were going in. This one has an homage to the original champions from the early 80s, maybe late 70s. Um, and so com specifically Kamala and Miles and, um, and Sam Champion, uh, Nova. Here's another homage to like, uh, well actually that's not that's not an homage, sorry, that's the current team. Uh, anyway, they became disillusioned with the Avengers, especially after Civil War, and went their own way. Um, this is a New York City Comic Con sketch variant. I also have the color one on the wall over there that connects to a Spider-Man one. Thank you, Nate's Comics, for that. And they formed their own team that was supposed to be more righteous and more, um, yeah, more righteous than their adult uh, superhero friends. And, you know, they soon learned that that's very difficult. Here's a little venomized version of the cover. Um, here's a Campbell color uh, number one. There were a lot of number one variants. This, uh, I think there's a black and white to that I don't have. This is one of my favorites. Uh, most good hobby variant. Viv, obviously, Avengers 57 homage uh, to her dad. This is the local comic shop day one. I hate Miss Marvel's hair in this. Uh, but, you know, that's just me being a bit nitpicky. So after, like, um, halfway through the first episode, they meet up with Viv Vision, who becomes a member, as well as Amadeus Cho. Uh, Ghost Rider was a member of the original champions. Amadeus Cho, and that rounds out the five. I think Young Cyclops joined, um, uh, like, an issue two later. Um, there is a Mark Brooks. And there's a Tyler Kirkham. I think this Mark Brooks one is hard to get as well. If if I remember correctly, I'm not 100% positive. The Mini Mates one from the Marvel Collector Core, the Cyclops one. There's a Deadpool variant number one that I don't have. That's like one in 500 or something. I don't like Deadpool anyway. Uh, this is probably a promotional thing. 
done by a store somewhere. I got myself a little Scotty Young card. And then here's issue two. Um, so issue one, they basically uh, they basically went after um, a guy who was trafficking girls and they saved him in issue two. They go and try to save this girl uh, from militant um, apartheid, uh, gender apartheid people. Uh, this is one of my favorite covers. This is a variant to issue two. And if you look very carefully, you got Captain Marvel there, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, adult Cyclops. This is like kid Cyclops. The X-Men went through this time warp thing. Vision and Dick Ryder <laughs> and Bruce Banner Hulk. So I think that's really, really, really cool. Very much dig that. Um, here's the regular issue two. Here's a variant for issue two. You can see they're getting to fights in their own because they're kids and they're going to have scrapes and scraps and stuff. Um, stand together to change the world. And you can see the uh, not everybody's happy about that. And I forgot about this cover. This variant for issue three. Issue four, they're, I can't remember who they're fighting in this. Um, some terror menace. And then issue five, my least favorite character uh, shows up and it's all about her. And that's why I don't like it. Uh, moving forward, issue six, this was a freelance group of teenage bad guys that were paid to do something and the uh, champions tried to stop them. That spills over here into issue seven. You can see, I forget what they're called. They're just, you know, one of the many nameless, faceless, not necessarily faceless, but I can't remember their name, groups that uh, attacked at some point. Uh, and then there's a little fallout, a little disagreement among the group. Uh, there's running through this, there's always this like, who is our leader sort of argument. Um, Kamala Khan sort of feels like she's a natural leader and she actually is a good leader, puts herself forward. But of course, being teenagers, some of them resent that. Uh, there is also uh, anger. This is I love this. I'm not a big Jim Lee fan, but I absolutely love this variant. Um, there is anger amongst. Uh, where was I going? With this uh, Amadeus Cho before he becomes Braun when he's the totally awesome Hulk. He's a very arrogant um, kid, and that uh, is very clear in some of this. Uh, Ironheart and I think it's Locust. Um, not Wasp, not Yellow Jacket, but Locust, uh, and perhaps um, a few others join later on. Uh, issue 12, not sure what's happening here, but it looks like Cyclops is having a little bit of a, a fit. You know, oh, and this is, is Iron Patriot, or I can't remember. They were throwing a lot of the kid groups in there. Here's a nice Venomized 12 with like a little bit of like a combination of all them. And then there was this Monsters Unleashed, where of course they fought a monster. Um, nice David Nakayama there, actually. All right, issue 13. I just got this variant um, the other day. I'd never seen this before. What happens here, this is a meetup where they reluctantly have to go fight with the Avengers against um, uh, the High Evolutionary, who does some stuff, and he ends up killing um, Viv Vision, which is very sad, of course. Uh but before he does that, or as he does that, um, Viv Vision creates a, uh, oh, sorry, she doesn't kill Viv Vision, makes Viv Vision into a human. And then Vision um, creates a second Android version of Viv Vision. I always thought this issue would be like something more powerful, like uh, the death of Viv Vision. But I guess I was too much of a Viv Vision fan to realize she wasn't that massive in the rest of stardom. Uh, so anyway, as I remember it, and I haven't read this for eight years or so, as I remember it, um, Viv did not die, um, the one that's human. She came back and, and defeated the android one with the help of one of the other uh, champions and then rejoined the team and all was good and copacetic, thus rendering that uh, storyline kind of, you know, small. Here's another David Nakayama variant, issue 15. Did I have an issue 15? Okay, so there's the regular 15. I didn't see that. Uh, issue 15, issue 16. It looks like our ranks are growing. And at some point, they create the mobile unit. And the idea is to have, like, several champions teams worldwide that can be dispatched, like, at any moment. Um, at some point, I don't know if it was this volume the next volume, Dust joins. And she's absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, here, it looks like they're helping out in some disaster or a tragedy, um, which of then, of course, leads to their own tragedy. Issue 18 here, 
Uh, if I recall, what happens here is there's some sort of uh, argument over the affections. Uh, the vision has a crush on Ironheart, and Ironheart is none too pleased about that, pushes her away, leaves Viv to have some feelings of loneliness, etc., etc., abandonment, things like that, into issue 19 and then 20. Uh, 20, I believe, is the cameo of Amila, Amika, Snowguard, um, who obviously they're in Alaska. Well, not, I shouldn't say obvious, but they're in Alaska, and there is a new um, character somewhere on the wall. I've got the second printing over there again. Um, it's a connecting cover, second period, printing of 19 and 20, our Snow Guard's first appearance. Um, this is 21. It looks like we are facing off against Alpha Flight this time. Grrr. Alpha Flight, Puck and Sasquatch, and all the good ones. Here's another 20. What? Am I missing a 22? Hmm. <laughs> if Full Run Friday has taught me anything, it's that my, my runs are not as complete as I thought they were. So we got issue 21, second printing, and issue 21. I don't know if I took issue 22 out of there because it's something special, or maybe 22 is on the wall, and that I'm going to check at the end so I don't have to get up. That might be the only copy of 22 that I have. So we've got, oh, never mind, 22 is when he changes his name to Braun. Um, Sam Alexander no more. Ironheart debuts in new armor. There was a, somebody who didn't like the Nova Corps who came down and wanted to fight Sam. Um, and he went off to fight her or something. Looks like a little man thing action going on here. Can't remember that issue. Uh, 24, there was this school shooting. You never thought it could happen here. Um, that was supposed to be a big uh, key. It really wasn't. I mean, it was sad. It really wasn't. There's um, dust, by the way. Uh, but I got two copies just in case. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, it's 24. I think around this time, we're, run we're winding down the first run of uh, Champion. It's, I guess, the second volume, but the first run of the current team. And what happens here is uh, my Miss Marvel and... I think Ironheart die. Miss Marvel and somebody dies, and Mephisto comes down. Because, you know, like, Mephisto likes to mess with everything. Mephisto comes down and um, offers a... Because they're in Weird World or somewhere crazy like that. 25, 26. And offers Miles the chance to bring them back if, you know, don't make a bargain with the devil sort of thing. Miles is so distraught and upset that he accepts the bargain with the devil. Uh, brings Miss Marvel and Ironheart back. And then, of course some girl that they had saved earlier ends up dying and this uh destroys miles and he leaves the team for some time um very very sad here's 26 and 27 this 27 oh, sorry that was 26 these are both 27s this 27 variant i find disturbing i do not appreciate this at all they did this doll variant thing for a while with a bunch of them and not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. Finally, we have um, this final variant featuring Ronan the Accuser. Not exactly sure why, but because the world still needs heroes. That's kind of been the tagline for the champions. You, know, you see that on most of the books. And then even though this went 27 issues, I believe, unless I'm missing something, that it only ever had one... Um, Annual, and that would be this champion's annual number one, kind of a trade dress cover featuring Snow Guard, who hasn't really made a splash since. So, there's Full One Friday, Champions Volume 2 from 2016 by Mark Wade, Umberto Ramos, Delgado, and I'm going to forget the last guy's name, and I apologize about that. Of course, it's not written on any of these others. I've got to go look at issue one. Delgado and Olazaba as the inker. So there you have it. Thanks very much for sticking with me. Uh, if you're a full run correct collector, if you like the champions, let me know by putting a comment below. Take care.